SafeMoon, building a blockchain innovation company by John Caroni, SafeMoon. How's it doing tonight? Hope it's great. All right, so hey, I'm John. I'm the CEO of SafeMoon. Um, what is SafeMoon? We're a nine-month-old blockchain innovation company, a tech company. Uh, we created the most talked about cryptocurrency on the market right now. We have 2.8 million holders, uh, one of the fastest growing communities in the world. We won the uh, best cryptocurrency community. Shout out to the SafeMoon Army here. So we have a valuation of around three to $4 billion, and we did this all in nine months. So um, I'm going to try to summarize nine months, which I actually equate to seven years in blockchain time worth of work uh, in 10 minutes. So let's uh, hit the next slide. Slide. Bueller. Bueller. No Ferris Bueller fans out there? OK. All right. Well, I'll just keep going. We good? No? Oh, I have a clicker? Oh. No? Oh, there we go. My, my story and safe man. All right, there we go. Didn't really get a whole bunch of a brief before I came on here. Um, all right, so uh, I grew up overseas. Uh, if you guys Google me, you can see that both my parents were uh, CIA, retired. Um, I graduated high school, moved out to Utah, and started college. Quickly realized that wasn't for me joined the military, uh, continued my travels. You know, I grew up in Africa, Asia, Europe, the Caribbean. Um, and then, anyway, so continued my travels with the military, uh, time in Korea, airborne school, and then uh, towards the end of it, uh, spent a little time in Afghanistan. Uh, took a lot of lessons learned from there. Um, and then when my time was over, when I, when I learned everything I wanted to learn, did everything I wanted to do, and it just felt right, I, I moved on. We're going to go back a little bit. 2018, the Gambia. So I've been working with the Gambia since about 2018. Um, smaller infrastructure projects, uh, you know, started off with uh, some fishery stuff. Uh, couldn't find an investor, didn't really work out. But, you know, we continued forward. Um, so if, for those of you who don't know what the Gambia is, it's a uh, West African country surrounded by Senegal. It's on the coast of West Africa. Beautiful beaches, great vacation spot. Um, they've got a population of 2 million. They have more cell phones per person than most other countries that I know of. So their want and need for technology is there. Um, but I'll go into why the Gambia later on. Okay, so pre-launch. What fueled SafeMoon? What is SafeMoon? Why did we do SafeMoon? So um, a lot of my experiences, you know, after I got out, I tried a few different things. I did import-export, government contracting, and then um, the biggest thing I did was uh, I got into video game development. Uh, what's the lesson I learned there? Well, it was the importance of being able to communicate your story, your narrative with a community and the value that community has for your product. So took that lesson and uh, 2021, March of this year, we launched SafeMoon. What is SafeMoon? So we're, as I said before, a blockchain innovation company, a tech company, um, launched in March of 2021, with our first product being the SafeMoon token. Our next product that we launched was the SafeMoon wallet. Over 700,000 users, uh, top of the charts on both iOS and Google Play. So we're a, we're a tech company, first and foremost. Um, you know, we have a, a greater vision to bring the, the future to now, and we continue to work on it. So everyone who works in the blockchain space understand that uh, one quarter in blockchain or in the blockchain industry is equated to one week in real world time. So you have to learn to move fast. Um, you know, this is a very rapidly changing environment, and we're definitely on the, uh, next, on the edge of next-gen technology, just beginning to scratch the surface of blockchain. So. I covered a little bit what SafeMoon is. Um, you know, we have our token on the Binance Smart Chain and on the Ethereum chain, we have our wallet out. Uh, we'll be releasing a, an exchange here in the near future as well as some other products. But 
first and foremost, we're a blockchain innovation company. And to the speech today is about the building of a blockchain innovation company in an industry that's not only a startup, but also being a startup in a startup industry. You know, this is definitely like early 2000s, early late 90s uh, internet era. So I'm going to summarize with lessons learned. First off, you need to build your team. Um, you know, you need to surround yourself with people who are like-minded. And just like any winning team, you have to be willing to evolve. Uh, for the English football fans, I'm not picking a side here. Please don't come after me, but we're going to use Manchester as, as an example. Um, so Cristiano Ronaldo left Manchester and then came back. You know, you have to learn when to move players around on your team so you can maximize your success. Because you're not just, it's not just about the, the technology, it's also about your greater vision, it's about your North Star. So you need to be able to build a team, first and foremost, that will evolve with you and be willing to evolve that team even when it's difficult. And this is especially important in a, uh, a fast-paced industry like cryptocurrency and blockchain. So one of the, the big lessons I learned while my, while my time in the service was uh, taking large daunting asymmetric problems and breaking them down into manageable milestones. Um, so for me, I like to break things down based on timelines. You know, you have 30, 60, 90, 180, 365, two years, four years, five years, seven years goals and milestones that you have to reach. And the first one for me was, how do you defeat the altcoin death cycle? So, uh, uh, it's a term I coined. Um, basically, the altcoin death cycle is the overutilization and reliance on hype. Hype is fleeting. It doesn't last very long, and you can clearly see that on the charts. So it's turning hype into something more sustainable and something that's not really thought about or done on a mass scale in our industry, which is building trust. Building trust in an industry that likes to talk about trustless technology. If, you know, a, a large motor company says, hey, you don't have to trust me, but trust the technology. Um, most people won't buy it. And this is especially important for the, for the crypto core. The trustless makes sense. For the crypto curious, they try to understand it, but it doesn't make sense. And it's especially important when trying to attract mainstream audiences. SafeMoon is blessed with both, like with a wide dichotomy of people. You know, just on our Discord alone, we have someone who's a, a certified uh, doctor, medical physician. Um, to people who are college students, you know, that's just a small little, little tidbit. You know, the, uh, when you're dealing with such a wide audience, the importance of communicating a, a solid narrative, solid story, and solid information out to people for all three audiences, the crypto core, the crypto curious, and the mainstream becomes all more important. So, and the big thing that ties all of those communities together, all those different audiences together is trust. Build trust in a trustless industry. So I touched on this, so I'll go to the next slide. Okay, so if you don't take anything else from my speech today, perfection is a journey, not a destination. You know, it's okay to make mistakes and it's okay to make mistakes in an industry that is emerging. It is emerging tech. This is unpaved terrain and we're just beginning to scratch the surface of what blockchain can do for people. Um, prime example is for me, I, I don't set, I don't give out timelines anymore. We had a very good lesson learned when it came to our wallet launch. Uh, it's no secret we missed it by two weeks, but the, the main takeaway there is if you, if you build something great, nobody's going to care. They're going to forget. If you release something that is not great, they'll never forgive you. They won't forget, and you won't get a second chance. So take the time you need to release a good product. Okay, what SafeMoon is not? We're not a meme coin. So uh, while meme coins have their place, and I, I do appreciate meme coins like Dogecoin, um, for, for SafeMoon, we're not a meme coin. We are a, a tech company. We are releasing a lot of products. I touched a little bit about that during this, this speech. You know, our wallet, 700,000 users, top of the charts on both iOS and Google Play. But we're not a meme coin, but they have their place. There is, if a community loves something, the community likes something and they support something. There you go. There's your value. There's your utility.
forgot the clicker. Okay, so this is kind of talking about what SafeMoon's greater goals are. So I began a little bit about talking about the, the Gambia, and uh, I want to take you back there now. So, you know, I've worked there since about 2018 on different infrastructure stuff, um, and I've learned a lot of lessons along this journey. Um, but the one thing I always knew before starting SafeMoon was the the application and the stuff that blockchain technology can do for the global south, for developing countries. Um, when I was in Afghanistan, you know, I had a routine. It was work, work out, eat, sleep, work, work out, eat, sleep. You get the gist. Uh, over and over. And, you know, when I was working out, when I was uh, left alone to my thoughts, when I was going to bed and I was resting my head on the pillow, you know, it, things came to me. It was like, what would a society look like? What would a country look like if they integrated blockchain technology early on? What would it look like if it was mass adopted? Um, and so that's been uh, a major inspiration, a major uh, viewpoint, and major motivation for what we do at, at SafeMoon. You know, I, I love the Gambia. I visited there earlier this year um, to meet with some folks. We, we talked about um, not, just, uh, not just about SafeMoon, about what blockchain can do for a country. Um, and the possibilities, anywhere from what, how it can tie into agriculture to you know, some of the other stuff that we're working on in the telecommunications and renewable energy space. And you know, they're, uh, it's a prime use case. And the, the energy stuff becomes especially important, you know, especially after the COP26 climate uh, summit that just took place. Um, about the transition from fossil fuels and other energy sources that we currently use to sustainable energy. And while this is very important in, you know, a lot of the major countries, it's especially important in developing countries. Now, if you add blockchain to that, you get a level of efficiency and technological boom that you don't really see when you apply other stuff. So... We've got a lot of stuff in the works. We've got the traditional blockchain items, you know, wallet, blockchain, exchange. Um, but our, our greater mission is definitely when it comes to macro IoT. When you're able to tie together stuff like telecommunications, renewable energy, even all the way down to how agricultural items are tracked and moved around, what you see is a greater level of, level of efficiency, transparency, and freedom that can grow and flow within a country, within a community, within a society. That kind of sums it up. This is where you can find me. Uh, my Twitter is at Captain Hoddle. You can find me, John Caroni on LinkedIn, and then there's my, my Discord. This is more for the, uh, the Safe Moon Army who's watching right now. Please don't crash the stream unless you already did. We're Safe Moon. We are family for those here and Safe Moon Army here. Thank you. I'm John Caroni, CEO of SafeMoon. Thank you for listening.